Welcome back um, to these uh, functional skills exam videos. Uh, this one is um, about Eden Project and the uh, the flower shop, and we're looking at task five now. And the question, as it says here, it says protect the flower sales data file with a password. Okay, a screen jump showing that the flower sales are being protected by a password. Okay, so we need to protect the flower sales data with a password. Okay. So where the flower cells, where is that? Let's have a quick um, look at that. So if we go into oh, right, it's this one here. Well, just a bit of background about um, password protecting uh, items is that uh, all of these um, Microsoft Office files, so uh, Word, um, Excel, PowerPoint, can all be protected with a password. It means that if I try to access it, I could put a part and it would ask me for a password, which could be useful to stop unauthorized people getting in. So what do you do? You go into the file itself, and if you go to file, okay, can you spot it and info? Can you see here permissions like protect the document? Anyone can open, copy, and change part of the document, but this actually protects it. Okay, what we can do is something called encrypt with password. And what encrypt means is it means the scrambling of data. Um, basically, it means if someone didn't have a password, they would just get gobbledygook, which they wouldn't be able to see. So we just click here. And what we need to do for our evidence is do a screenshot. So let's do a print screen here. And let's go to our evidence. Uh, so let's go to my evidence. Okay, just going to just close that for a while. Okay, task five. So, uh, task five: protecting the what was it? The sales data file. Okay, and we've got a print screen. Let's just press N to get that onto the next page. Okay, and um, paste that in there. So we've got that bit. So let's um, so that shows that we know what we're doing. We could actually put in a little arrow, couldn't we just really show the examiner that we know what we're talking about. So, put a little arrow in there. And the next bit is let's actually put in, um, let's go back to the sales data sheet. Let's go back to the sales data sheet, that's the right one, protect document, and then We'll just put the word password in because again that'd be easier for us to remember. Do a print screen of that again. Okay, just clicked it there. Oh, I'm gonna retype it. Password. Done that. Okay, let's go add the other screenshot so it shows us that we've so that's a blank screen. Then we put one in, and then the key test is if we go back into this, we close this and save it. Uh, it's both encrypted and password. The officer. Yes, whatever. Do I want to do that? Hang on, let me read that message very clearly. Save changes. No, it's already done. Okay. Um, so now if we try to go into it it asks us okay for hey, let's just close that there we go so there is our proof that we've done it okay print screen that okay back into our evidence okay go back to our evidence that's all done now um, and paste that in there there we go. So what we've shown there is we've shown you how to do a password protection. And by the way, while we're here, we can also do that on this document here. See, protect workbook, and we can actually um, protect the whole structure by putting a password in as well. So that works for that as well. Okay, so going back to evidence, we have shown we know where that is. We've added a password, and it's being tested when we're trying to access the sales data file. Okay, so I hope that's helped. Um, good luck with that one. Take care.